What's up everyone out in the world wide web? This is Jesse with Viral Thoughts and today we are reviewing Spider-Man Far From Home, the post Endgame Marvel movie. All right, and here what we do on Viral Thoughts is we talk about Aristotle's elements of drama and apply them to movies and see how long we think those movies will last. So the first element is plot. The plot summary of Spider-Man Far From Home is a villain is ruining Peter Parker's European vacation. You don't know who the villain is. With this plot, I'm not sure what to actually call the plot actually. So I'll get back to that though. Because the majority of the plot, Spider-Man is actually resisting the call to greater responsibility. The universe wants Spider-Man to take greater responsibility and take and replace Iron Man in a way but Peter wants to spend t more time with his girly friend. Most of the movie, the universe is causing problems for H Peter Parking's resisting that call. So it's a kind of a maturation plot, so I'm giving the plot a 3.5 out of 5 star. Next element is character. Spider-Man in the MCU has been the younger brother of the Avengers. Now he is an official Avenger. Peter Parker is a dynamic character, meaning he changes over the course of the story. With the greater responsibility, he has to step it up and be more responsible. For Peter, for Peter, this was a growing up story. The side characters were supportive and in many ways funny, adding comedic humor. The villain. Marvel villains typically have problems, making them insignificant or often uh, over the top. But I must say, I'm actually really impressed with Spider-Man's villains so far. The Vulture in the previous movie uh, wasn't out to take over the world or anything. He was simply trying to provide for his family. Now, I don't want to spoil about who the villain is in Far From Home, but I need to say I did like the villain. So I give character a four out of five star. The next element is theme. With great power comes great responsibility. I know, I know. It's very cliche for a Spider-Man film. However, it's not all that bad or that obvious, actually. They never once said it. They didn't physically actually say that phrase. The theme is there, but it's not explicitly stated, and I really appreciate it. There was a time when Peter was given access to some massive resources, and he misuses those resources, actually, which he regrets later. This was not necessarily original, but they portrayed it very well. So I give the theme a 3.5 out of 5 star. The next element is dialogue. The dialogue in this movie has funny dialogue and many good laughs, like the Peter Tingle, and you don't ghost Nick Fury. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go! You do not ghost Nick Fury! Was the dialogue cliche? No, not really, but otherwise the dialogue seemed a bit invisible to me. Thinking back on it, I can remember some lines, but most of the lines actually are just a blur to me. So I give dialogue a 3 out of 5 star. The next element is music. Spider-Man has his own theme song, and when you hear it, you can recognize it as Spider-Man's theme. It is professionally done with the whole superhero vibe, but nothing amazingly standing out, uh, I would have to say. So I'm giving music a 3.5 out of 5. The next element is spectacle. Marvel always does a good job with their graphics and theatrics, explosions and illusions and action sequences. <laughs> It's a Marvel movie and I loved it. The graphics were eye-catching and I loved it, it was great. But are they revolutionary? Uh, not necessarily, probably not, but I still really enjoyed the spectacle aspect. There are also several reveals throughout the movie that really make it worthwhile in my opinion. Thus, I give spectacle a 4.5 out of 5. Now here are what other people are saying about Spider-Man Far From Home. Ben Travis from Empire said, It's not quite the home run from Homecoming. But Far From Home isn't far from matching it, with heaps of humor, energetic action, and the answers Endgame left you craving. And from Washington Post said, The best parts of the film aren't the action sequences, but the teasing banter and peer group dynamics that are in injected with life or death stakes, thanks to Peter's still kinda secret identity. And then Sandy from Common Sense Media said, simultaneously humorous and heartfelt, entertaining and angsty, this action-packed sequel is an exploration of Peter's grief and moving on in a post-endgame world. I really enjoy Marvel movies. And Spider-Man Far From Home is no exception. It's funny, it has likable characters, and it has amazing fight sequences. Thus, I give Spider-Man Far From Home a 4 out of 5 star. 
And that's it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and like this video. Your support really means a lot. Comment below about who your favorite super Marvel superhero is. Uh, who's better, DC or Marvel and why? But thank you so much for watching and share this video, like and comment, and I'll see you all next week. Now remember, it's not what you watch, but how you watch it that makes you a scholar. Be kind to each other out there. Flyweb, fly, fly, flyweb, fly. Ah! <laughs>